All right, so in the previous video, we talked about the type command and how there are different types of commands. It's really four main groups. Uh, and some of those commands are known as built-in shell commands. So we have not yet talked about the command cd, which is a shell built-in. We see that if I do type cd, it's shell built-in. And uh, let's just say that you heard about it and you wanted to learn more about it. So you type man cd. Hmm, no manual entry for cd. So that's fine. It's actually very normal because it's a shell built-in. Uh, that means it does not have a manual page entry, but we can still get help. Thankfully, there's an actual command called help. So for commands that are built into the shell directly, instead of man, we can use the help command. So to learn more about cd, we would run help cd. Now, it's not the same interface. Uh, you can see it just prints out text. I have to scroll up myself, actually. So it doesn't put us into that less program where we can use all the shortcuts and scroll. It's different, but we see information. It tells us about the command and how it works, different options. Um, so this is something that may come up at times if you need to learn more about a command. So there's another command we'll learn shortly called pwd. And if I try and read about it on the man page, I actually do have a man page entry. But if I do type PWD, it is a shell built-in. So it's not a hard rule that the man pages won't include an entry for shell built-ins. It's kind of confusing, but there will be a help entry as well. Um, but in general, if there is no man page for something, you should be able to find it with a help page. So here's one last example. Uh, there is a command called uh, export, and there's no man page entry. If I do type on export, it's a shell built-in, and I can instead do help export. All right, so not a huge deal, uh, but this is something that can come in handy, especially uh, when you are looking for a man page that doesn't exist. You can usually find a help page instead. All righty, so for the most part, from, from this section, the most important takeaway is just man and then a command name, and then if that fails, help and a command name, and then read what you see. You can learn quite a bit.